Hey, hi you guys, Capricorn. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Thank you, Capricorn, for supporting my channel. Those likes really help me get out into that YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and three cards from the Hermit Tarot and one Teabag Fortune message. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Capricorn, you've got the Five of Swords, Air Energy. This is Venus in Aquarius. You could be dealing with someone that has their Aquarius in Venus. Doesn't absolutely have to be, though. This is a person who is uptight and full of contradictions. They make misunderstandings, so then you have to defend yourself. They like to provoke a reaction. They can be a bully. They're full of empty promises. They might constantly complain. They're snappy. They non-stop talk. They're full of baggage and projections. They're an energy vampire. This can be bad treatment involved some kind of underhandedness. It's a mental cruelty and humiliation. They unknowingly drain and suck the life from their victims by complaining, and then they leave others feeling drained and resentful. They can be double dealers, manipulators. They're bitchy and nasty, and they like conflict and arguing. There is an unbridled ambition. This can be a self-sabotaging behavior rather than a malicious tent on others. There could be hidden intentions, always keeping score on others, hidden agendas, one-upmanship. There's a need not to judge before you know everything. There are storm clouds and wind. There can be ego-involved issues. Someone felt they were stepped on, so they retaliate. And it would be petty and full of friction and tension and hostility. It can be an unhealthy competition or a betrayal. There can be gossip and personal attacks, negative thinking, being lied to. They're looking out for number one, and there is adversity. This is a no-win situation, and healing will not come until you cut your losses. It would be a high cost to victory. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Capricorn, the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a passionate new start. And it has a lot of potential. It's a new beginning. It could be in business or arts or finance. It's high passion in relationships. A very strong attraction. In this position, these energies are restricted. They're being blocked and opposed. This can be a premature start. A lack of faith. Or it's not the time to fire things up. There could be a lack of potential or opportunity. This could be someone that misuses their power by trying to dominate or control others. Sometimes it's even by sexual manipulation. Five of Swords with the Ace of Wands is an unbridled drive and energy and passion and conflict. It's a fight where you have the upper hand. There's adversity to this new beginning or a startup. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Capricorn. The Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone that's full of courage and determination. They're eager for the love of the life and experiences. Then they nurture the qualities of fire in their self and others. They can champion 
the human spirit. They can offer offer encouragement, and they'll help others. They can help others find their strength. This is exercising willpower, and they may have some psychic gifts. They can be crafty. But there's, they can also be jealous. And if there's problems, they can turn on you without cause. And then they'll seek revenge. They can be domineering and obstinate and unfaithful. The Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands, this is help that is not appreciated. It's putting in efforts without results. Or there could be adverse adversity to your help or efforts. Your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Capricorn, you've got number 11 of the major arcana, justice. This could be a Libra. This planet is associated with the planet Venus. Saturn is exalted here. This can do have to do with timing, like when you least expect it. It's a card of karma, and it suggests you will reap what is sown. There may be a need to weigh things up, to find a fair and rational solution, for reason and thought to override emotion. It's weighing things up, or feeling weighed down. Or it's time to weigh a situation's factors, to make a reasoned assessment, a judgment of the matter. You do have an ace in your reading here. And any time there's justice with the ace, this is a decision that will carry blessings. But the ace is in a restrictive position, so it's delayed. This is self-correction, integrity, and equilibrium. It calls for us to weigh everything carefully, accept responsibilities for what we have done, and to understand what the other people in the situation have done. This can represent the legal profession, a lawyer, a judge, witnesses. And remembering that actions always carry consequences. There is now a chance to change your actions for a better future. The Five of Swords with the Justice card is a perverted justice. It's unfair. It can be a crime or assault some kind of instability, can be an unfair legal batter, battle, slander, uh, a when-at-all-costs trial for balance and truth. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Capricorn, here's your energy. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, you, Capricorn. This is you being in a position of power and control. This is a calm leader, a savvy business person, a steady friend, a benefactor, investor. They can be a father, a boss. They're kind and dependable and material-oriented, and they have a lot of ambition. They're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. They treasure their comfort. And they're generous, but they always consider what is it in, in it for them. They're a thoughtful and considerate spouse. They're calm and patient. But they can get upset when loved ones act erratically. They earn money through hard and patient effort. This can also be the fulfillment of desires and something tangible completing. And there is a lesson to be content with what you have and express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment. It's tracking wealth. Indulging in the finer things in life. Fulfilling desires in the physical realm. This struggle will end up benefiting you. 
There could be someone that steps in to take the lead. The Five of Swords with the King of Pentacles. This can be a brutal business. Power struggles, conflicts, a loss of discipline. Could be working in that brutal business. It could be a stiff challenge. Dealing with someone who may be a double dealer and they have hidden agendas. The Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands. This is drive and energy and courage and determination. This can be an entrepreneur and getting a new start. The Ace of Wands with the Justice card is things going your way. It's signing legal documents. It's at long last a release of things blocked. It can be sexual tension. Balance is needed. The Ace of Wands with the King of Pentacles, these are new opportunities that begin to develop. There's more financial and practical skills being developed. This can be a new passionate potential and a job opportunity. Queen of Wands with the Justice card is upholding justice and balance. It's courage with truth and clarity. It's joy and cause and effect. This carries weight. They can be passionate feelings about fairness. Queen of Wands with the King of Pentacles, he is practical and she creates too much drama and overspends and he wants to hold on to his money. Justice with the King of Pentacles is feeling weighed down by practical matters, legal matters, tax matters. This can be a judge that gives a fair decision about business and you'll be achieving justice soon. Here's your first of the three of the Hermit Tarot. Number seven, I dream about you a lot, like too much. This can be the seven of cups, dreaming, fantasizing, trying to make a choice. Number seven, I dream about you a lot, like too much. Number eleven, this love scares me. Number eleven, this love scares me. And love is the answer, Capricorn. Love is the answer. Here's your teabag fortune message. Even a journey of a thousand miles starts with a first step. That's that ace of wands taking that first step. Even a journey of a thousand miles starts with a first step. It hasn't started yet. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.